Hey y'all, hope you're all doing well. This is Giovanni. Hey, I just wanted to come in and um, talk to you a little bit about uh, some of the dirty procedures they will use in court. Uh, give you uh, some of their dirty tricks so uh, you may preserve yourselves. Okay, so one of them, uh, the biggest one is that, let's say you're going into court with your ex and um, you're going to enter into a judicial pretrial. That's what they call it, judicial pretrial. And basically what this is, is that it's just a pretrial where um, nothing is going to be settled uh, in etched in stone. Um, but so basically what is gonna happen is, let's say you're the defendant. Well, your ex is going to um, give out statements. And in these statements, they might be uh, accusing you or um, demeaning you or something. And basically, what this is, is that that statement, they can say whatever they want in judicial pre-trials. So they're gonna, they're, their lawyer is going to come up with a, sh a statement on paper and it's, it, it can like be totally false it can be totally manipulated it can to be totally defamatory slanderous towards you a libel anything in judicial pretrial whatever your ex if you're a defendant will say against you or about you they can say anything they want and they cannot be held liable because they are not under oath so basically, what the first thing that's going to come in your mind is when you receive that document, the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to defend yourself. You're going to be like, man, what bullshit, the, 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 the lies and everything. So you're going to start pouring your heart out and you're going to open yourself and you're going to start bumping gums and defending yourself and throw all these words. That's the trick. The reason they do that is because they want to see how you're going to position yourself in your defense and they're going to use everything you say against you. So the best thing you do in judicial pre-trials, you shut up. You don't answer nothing unless bef and before they are put under oath. When you have conviction and certainty that they're put under oath, that's when you start considering things because aside from that, They'll say anything, they'll put anything in paper, and they are not liable to it. So you see, that's one reason how this wicked court system is uh, so defiled, because that's a dirty trick that they use. And see, they say, well, because it's not under oath, well, we can put any words out without any repercussions. Well, that's not what the Bible says, and that's not what the heavenly court says, and what the Most High Yah says in judgment. He says that everything that comes out of your mouth we will be judged whether we are placed under oath or not. See, that's a righteous system. That's a righteous court system. And that's how we're going to be judged. And that's why we can't find justice in this wicked court system in this world. So that's why we got to put our trust in the Most High Yah by His, his teachings and His Torah and His prophets and His Son, Yahshua HaMashiach. All right, guys, so I hope this was encouraging. Uh, I'll catch y'all later. Stay encouraged. Bless y'all.